Hey, yo, uh, Shalom. One. I will praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshua, Hashem, Rakakadash, and Double and see Apostles. Now it is a great most of man who rule well. Um, Shalom to the Rakim out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Got a, um, got an article here. It's basically, you know, just, just a update on the chip. It's more or less just, um, you know, a marketing for the chip. Marketing for the chip, pretty much. And it's on the sun. And it says, Robud. Your whole body could be re replaced or upgraded with robot parts by 2070. A robotics boffin says we might all be upgrading our bodies with bionic bits before the end of the century and suggests science fiction could soon become fact. Your entire body could be swapped out with robot parts as soon as 2070 if a top robotics expert is to be, to be believed. One ro bionics expert <clears throat> says that we're not far from a future where anyone can buy upgraded body parts that provide superhuman powers. So he says he's basically just trying, you know, it's 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 marketing for the chip, man, RFID, which is the mark of the beast, and that's um, you know, they're saying oh, you know, superhuman powers, blah blah blah, robot upgrades, but how's how's it gonna start? Off? It's well, you've already seen it, man, with that implantable chip, which they get to further down. <sighs> It says, the predictions come from robot buff Chris Middleton. Funny, I wonder if he's... Well, he's probably not. Chris Middleton might be related to fucking... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Kate Middleton. It says, uh, who regularly lectures on the impact that AI-powered machines will have on humanity. At some point, 50 or 100 years in the future, might a whole human body become replaceable, editable, or upgradable? I wouldn't bet against it. We can already see that some technologies um, encourage people, unfortunately, to behave more like machines. He said, speaking to the Daily Star, we use, for example, he used the example of smart speakers like the Amazon Echo, which is making everyday gadgets into, into human-like devices. He says, machines are becoming more human. Look at Siri, Alexa, and the rest. Meanwhile, we're all getting used to being told what to do by machines. Walk 1,000 steps a day, run around the park, turn left, turn right, and so on. So he's trying to just make it, like, blend it off, like, okay, you know, like a, a Tom Tom sat-nav is basically, um, uh, what do you call it? A Tom Tom sat-nav is the equivalent of, you know, that's just like, he's, he's equivalating it with, like, you know, it's just, you know, machines becoming human. So it's like, if you integrate the sat-nav in your chest, that's just the same thing as like as listening to it saying turn left, turn right. That's that's just BS. And look, he says, are wearable devices simply part of a journey towards incorporating technology into ourselves? I think in the long run that's inevitable. So that's the chip. That's the mark of the beast. Because that's where really that's what it's all about, man. You know, they're build, they're building them sex robots. That's that's like the eugenics, that kind of angle. And then it's like the wearables. That's what they're, they're basically the build up to the chip because they started with like with um, contactless cards, Oyster cards, you know, um, even like colleges, unis, uh, workplaces. You have like a card to tap a uh, security card just with your face on it and you tap R with the RFID in it and you tap that in and that's like, uh, that's been normalized and now it's come to where it's okay, your phone, or a wristband, or, or, you know, like, Apple Watch or something, the wearables, and then now it's implant it. Just, okay, you just, you know, just implant the chip. Everything's good. That's pretty much what they're trying to sell it. And that's, you know, that's what all this, um, all this good PR for, um, for what do you call it? Good PR for these, um, for what do you call it? For uh, implantables, man, RFID. Because it says, um, he added, we should all treasure being human while it lasts. So these, these guys are trying to push that, that um, what's it called, biohacking, man. And it says, um, hit, well, it says, a new Netflix show, Altered Carbon, imagines the world where humans can transfer their consciousness into lab-grown bodies or sleeves. And that's like, that's a new show. It's like, bro has been saying, like, it's, it's on point. They go into it um, pretty much... Um, about like the chip implantables and um about what do you call it man um 
like reincarnation as well, trying to manipulate it to his will, man. Esau trying to trying to control it. But you know, it's all pushing out them vibrations, which is basically leading up to the chip. Yeah. Um let me read this. Revelation thirteen and uh, and sixteen. And it says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. So it's um it's all about that that mark man and well yeah that is it's about receiving that mark and that mark is basically you accepting esau and, and his realm as your god and your overlord man that's what it's all about and that's what this this whole um technology push these men are doing this implantables is just a it's like a tracking cattle that's what it's all about. They're selling it like, oh, you know, like you're going to get some cybernetic arm and be punching guys 30 feet in the air or jumping on top of like six-story buildings with your cybernetic legs. But really, you're, you're going to be getting that mark and that's going to make you into cattle, man. You're going to be, you're going to be, scared. They'll, they'll be able to put you, put you down when they want to put you down, track you endlessly. It's a, hey, you know, that's what Esau's about, man. That's what his New World Order's about. You see all these dystopian films. Even, what do you call it, man? Like, uh, Altered Carbon, which I need to check out. That that basically goes into the same kind of thing, man. It's basically a, dy a dystopian future where Esau's got that totalitarian rule. And that's what he's after, that totalitarianism, where he can annihilate Jake, annihilate the mass amount of the people, and basically have a few cattle ultimately branded and, and just kept under ultimate subjection man that's what it's all about man but you know just you know update just just you know keeping track of what Esau's put pushing out there man but yeah I'll leave it there man I'll say all praise to y'all by Shem Yashai by Shem Rekha Kaddash uh, double honesty apostles and elders of great millstone man and Shalom Shalom